Hi everyone, this is Sonia for Zero Waste Asia Newsbreak. Joining me is Pui Wong from the Basel Action Network. Hi Pui, how are you? Hi Sonia, I'm good. I'm good. So Pui, what is the top issue that you would put forward in the GPT negotiations? Uh, the top issue would definitely be the harms of plastic to human health. Uh, the physical harm in terms of the physical properties of plastic that it cannot biodegrade and also the chemical properties, the chemical toxicity of plastics mm -hmm. and the need to list all these out and reduce, uh, phase out the harmful components and work on reducing the overall production of plastic. Mm -hmm. So how was your experience with the negotiations and how do you feel about the position of your government? So, with the negotiations, um, as civil society, we don't have much uh, uh, say or voice in the formal proceedings. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, well, my, the position of my government is very, very questionable. Uh, especially compared to other countries like the Philippines or Vietnam who has been coming up with very uh, progressive and, and, and helpful, interesting statements. Malaysia, because although we are represented here by the Ministry of Environment, mm -hmm. they are channeling the voices of the Ministry of Industry and Trade, um, Fisheries, Agriculture, and they are listening very, very much to our big petrochemical national company. Mm -hmm. So the Malaysia's position needs to improve. There's a lot of room for improvement. But is there enough room to lobby with your member state and how is your access to your delegation? So they have been quite uh, open to CSOs. Uh, in fact, before the INC4, we had uh, up to three or four meetings mm -hmm. with the uh, committee who is preparing for INC4. However, it feels like whatever we say doesn't get taken into account. The final statement, the final positions are still the same. However, there's one um, potential. There's a potential wait and see element in Malaysia's stand. If the, if the world can come up with a list of chemicals that needs to be phased out and a list of polymers, monomers that needs to be phased out and they're clear on it and Malaysia um, can see that it won't be so detrimental to our economy, mm -hmm. then Malaysia might um, agree to, mm -hmm. to phasing out of harmful substances and harmful mm -hmm. polymers. So there's one small bit of hope. Okay. But do you feel that the negotiation process is going where it needs to go? Uh, it seems a bit slow mm -hmm. uh, to me because we're already in day four. Day four. And, uh, yeah, we have a lot to negotiate. There's a lot of conference room papers introduced. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I'm the progress, yeah, we only have a couple more days and I don't think there'll be a tidied up negotiated text by the end of INC4. It doesn't seem likely. And the chair was quite uh, insistent that everything should end on the 28th. So 29 is just plenary. But meanwhile, in INC3, we were negotiating the text and, and all, all the way until I, uh, until the last day. Yes. Yeah, so it, it seems like they are not maybe not to um, not placing a strong focus on negotiating the text line by line. Mm -hmm. But I think what's very important is to give the secretary mandate to start intersessional work. Mm -hmm. I think that is of utmost utmost top 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 priority mm -hmm. for all CSOs and member states. So is INC5 going to be the last one? Oh, that's a very <laughs> tough question. Um, I can't say. Uh, <laughs> Difficult to um, say. And yeah, a lot of people are talking about having more intersessional uh, or, or maybe a, a, a INC 4.2. But it's really, really difficult to say. Uh, based on progress now, it may not end in INC5 because everyone has such polarized, opposing positions. So, but it's interesting. Uh, I think the world should watch this process because it affects every single one of us, although we may not see 
the direct impacts, but we all use plastics. We are all affected by the, the chemicals in plastics. Mm -hmm. So do you have a message to the public, to our allies, to our member states and to the plastics industry? We need to open our eyes and see the harms of plastics because I, I just had a conversation with a plastic producer and he's very adamant that his plastics are safe but science has proven otherwise. We know that the oceans have overseeded the, its um, chemical boundary. There's too many chemicals in this, the ocean there's 13,000 to 16,000 different types of chemicals in plastics and species are being wiped out. Birds, um, whales, seals, species are being wiped out by ingesting plastic that they cannot digest and, and choking and starving to death. And the impact of plastics on humans is still, some people would say it's unknown, some people say it's proven. But we know that cancer rates are rising, we know that hormonal changes are here, we know that behavioural changes are rampant. We really need to acknowledge the harms and work to end it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much, Bui. Thank you. Again, Sonia for Zero Waste Asia and Newspaper.